One of the things that makes Boston Dynamics unique is its ability to create dynamic, stable-legged machines of any size, shape, or style. These designs enable their robots to brave nearly every terrain and perform tasks in environments too difficult or inaccessible to people or other machines. Its evolution since the founding in 1992 has been mind-blowing. Their first prototype came out in 2004 called The Big Dog, and their latest is Handle, a research robot released in 2020. Their designs have even been recognized in TV series and video games like Black Mirror and Heroes of the Storm, proving their insane popularity. Today, we're going to take a look at where they started and how they went from this to this. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. First, what is Boston Dynamics? We don't blame you if you haven't heard of this company. If it was owned by Elon Musk, we would get almost daily, if not hourly, updates on everything happening with the company. But the founder, Mark Raybert, is actually quite private and prefers to work in silence. Headquartered in Waltham, Massachusetts, Boston Dynamics is an American robotics design company. It was first owned by Google and, as of 2020, by the Hyundai Motor Group. They are known for their highly mobile robots, which combine principles of dynamic control and balance with sophisticated mechanical designs and next-generation software. These robots are equipped with navigation, perception, and intelligence. And what sets them apart from other robotic labs is the fact that all their designs have legs. Boston Dynamics believes that mobility in natural and man-made environments requires legs. The idea was to make a robot that could go anywhere humans could go and even where humans couldn't go for safety reasons. After all, dangerous work doesn't just happen in factories, they happen out in the natural world. Here, you need to navigate rocky terrain, staircases, doors, and narrow paths. If the environment cannot change, Obviously, the machine must adapt. They have been working on perfecting the design with each upgrade for the last 30 years, first in theory and then practically. Before founding Boston Dynamics, Raybert was a professor of electrical engineering at MIT and taught computer science and robotics at Carnegie Mellon University. He built the first self-balancing hopping robots in 1980 under his company, Leg Laboratory, which was quite a huge leap in robotics. From there, he became passionate about bipedal and quadrupedal robotics. It's easy enough to call what they do artificial intelligence, but the robot's capabilities are better described as athletic intelligence. They can walk, climb stairs, avoid obstacles, and manage all kinds of terrain. That doesn't mean, however, that they lack cognitive intelligence. They can route paths autonomously, for example. If required, they can also respond to voice commands. Of course, Getting to the point of creating a humanoid robot that can do backflips took a lot of work and development. So, let's take a look at the evolution of the Boston Dynamic Robots. The Big Dog 2004 The Big Dog was a quadrupedal robot created with Forster Miller, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Harvard University Concord Field Station a lot of big names. It was developed to serve as a robotic mule to accompany soldiers in terrains too rough for jeeps and trucks. It was deemed the world's most ambitious legged robot, and it was designed to carry 340 pounds of baggage alongside a soldier at 4 miles per hour, efficiently navigating rough terrain at inclines of up to 35 degrees. It is 3 feet long and stands 2.5 feet high, and it can stand up, sit down, walk with a crawl or a trot, and run. The Big Dog contains about 50 sensors, which measure altitude and acceleration of the body, motion, and force of joint actuators. Footage of the new generation Big Dog was released by Boston Dynamics, showing its ability to walk on ice and recover balance when kicked from the side. Unfortunately, the project was closed because the prototypes made too much noise. And of course, noise is the last thing you need in that situation. Little Dog 2010 Unlike Big Dog, which is run by Boston Dynamics, Little Dog is funded and operated by DARPA, and it was created to help progress in rough terrain locomotion algorithms. It has four legs, each powered by three electrical motors, and a wide range of motion. It is strong enough to climb, and the onboard computer does the sensing and communicating. Little Dog's sensors measure joint angles, motor currents, body orientation, and foot-to-ground contact. It can run for 30 minutes without needing a recharge 
and wireless communications also allow you to control the device remotely. Cheetah 2012 True to its name, the Cheetah is a four-legged robot that can gallop at 28 miles per hour, which is the land speed record for legged robots. This, by the way, is faster than the fastest man in the world, Usain Bolt. His record speed is 27.8 miles per hour, and yes, that means there is no escaping this robot Cheetah, even if you're an Olympian. But this definitely isn't the final version of the Cheetah. Keep in mind that this record is set in an environment where there is no wind resistance and the treadmill doesn't make the robot turn in different directions. So, in theory, if you were being chased by a cheetah robot, you could simply take a step to the left. But the robot can climb steps and even jump over obstacles while running. Atlas 2060 This agile, six-foot-tall bipedal humanoid robot is designed for various search and rescue tasks, and the fact that it looks like something out of a Marvel movie is just an added bonus. In February 2016, Boston Dynamics released a clip on YouTube titled Atlas, The Next Generation, which showed the robot performing all sorts of tasks, and in the follow-up in 2018, Atlas could literally do parkour. They followed it up with another video titled More Parkour in 2019. Of course, its capabilities go far beyond tricks and dancing. Atlas is equipped with two vision systems, a laser rangefinder and stereo cameras, both of which can be controlled remotely. It has good motor skills and its limbs can navigate rugged terrain and climb using arms and legs. It was made to help in emergency services in search and rescue missions and do things like shutting off valves, opening doors, and operating machinery where humans cannot go. Unfortunately, the Department of Defense declared they didn't want to use robots of offensive or defensive measures. Still, Atlas performed several tasks and passed all tests with flying colors. They included removing debris from a blocked pathway, climbing an industrial ladder, breaking through a concrete panel, and connecting a firehouse to a standpipe, then turning on the valve. We can't tell why the DOD wouldn't want such a handy robot around to relieve pressure on the troops and making things safer. It would undoubtedly be a big help. Spot 2016 In the same year, Boston Dynamics was working on a four-legged canine-inspired robot called Spot, which weighs only 55 pounds. They released a video in 2018 where Spot used its front claw to open a door, and the next month, another video of Spot trying to open a door despite interference from humans. Spot helps in gathering data safely and accurately from the remotest, most inaccessible places. It can carry up to 30 pounds of research equipment and can be controlled remotely. If you want consistent data over the course of weeks or months, Spot can also go completely autonomous and do that for you. It has 360-degree perception to map terrains, avoid obstacles, and mobility to cruise over loose gravel, grass, and stairs. In 2018, Raybert announced on TechCrunch that Spot was going into pre-production and preparing to roll out for commercial availability. In November 2019, the Massachusetts State Police Force became the first law enforcement agency to use Spot Mini as a robot cop as well as in the unit's bomb squad. In fact, Spot has even been used by SpaceX at their Starship test site to help contain subcooled liquid nitrogen and to inspect potentially dangerous areas around the launch pad. But it's not all work and no play. In July 2020, a team of Spot robots also performed as cheerleaders in the Fukuoka SoftBank Haas vs. Rakuten Eagles match. Pick 2019 Technically, Pick is not a robot. It needs to be attached to a warehouse's existing commercial robots. In a video published in 2019, we see PIC use a combination of vision sensors and learning software to palletize and depalletize boxes. They can identify shapes and sizes of boxes, move up to 720 boxes in an hour, and adapt to any type of parcel, whether rectangular or irregularly shaped. Handle 2020 this is another robot with two flexible legs on wheels and two hand-like appendages to manipulate or carry objects. You could think of it as more mobile version of Pick. It can stand over 6 feet tall, travel at 9 miles per hour, and jump 4 feet high. It is meant for moving boxes in warehouses. It has a small footprint, long reach, and a vision system to help unload trucks and move boxes. Basically, it can operate entirely on its own. It has a pick rate of 360 boxes per hour, and it can handle multiple jobs, whether that's getting a box from a high shelf or transporting something to another warehouse. 
Handel actually uses many of the same dynamics, balance, and mobile manipulation principles found in other robots by Boston Dynamics, but with only about 10 actuated joints, it is much less complex. All that said, Atlas is definitely the superior robot. It forces the Boston Dynamics team to advance the state-of-the-art software and hardware designs. Because it's so beautifully complex and humans can identify it with the humanoid factor, it forces researchers to develop techniques that deal with the freedom Atlas has, both in physical and cognitive intelligence. Though these robots are commercially available, there are some limits to buying them. If you want a spot, you can buy a maximum of two on their website, and if you want more, you'll have to speak to the sales team. And if you were hoping to have some sort of robot butler around the house, well, these robots are very much for industrial use and can be handled only by people with proper training. So definitely not for the home, especially if you have children running around. But they are looking at customer-facing applications for future versions of the robot, and it should be out in 2022. What do you think of this evolution of Boston Dynamics? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and check out more videos like this on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.